Hello, it's you and Plush Studios, and this is probably the final video of the year. Unless I do a skit or something, like I did the other day. But yeah, this is going to be the final video of the year. I'm touching the tripod, so it's shaky a little bit. Still will to fix it. But this is going to be a look at the Angry Birds Christmas plushies, because this year I sought out the rest of them. I did have, I did have the red one and the pig, but... During the year, I sought out the black, white, yellow, and blue ones. I completely forgot they have names. Anyways, since there's not really much to talk about with these, we're gonna first get into a bit of a history lesson. Let's cast our minds back to 2011, some of the glorious days of Angry Birds, where the set of Christmas plushies, both 5 inch and 8 inch, popped up for pre-order on ToyWiz.com. They were set to ship in October, but they didn't. They shipped out in November. So luckily in time for Christmas, but a bit later than people expected. Yeah, this, that's really all there is to cover in this brief history. Anyways, let's go into the plushies. So I won't go too in depth on each of these plushies since they're pretty self-explanatory. They're just the uh, first six Angry Birds plushies that they made, but with little Santa hats on top. Santa hats are pretty nice quality, they are stitched on pretty well, and they're off at an angle which looks pretty nice. I'll just show these off one by one while we talk. But yeah, you see we have the red one here, and we have Chuck. Yeah, this one is actually a Good Stuff Toys one. The, the claw machine people. They distributed them for claw machines. And yeah, I have a uh, good stuff Chuck. Um, I mean, he passes as a Commonwealth one, I guess. I don't think about it too much. Anyways, the blue one up next, blue. Here he is. This is actually the most recent one I got because it was pretty hard to track this one down. Now, with Chuck and Blue, there was actually the updated 2013 variants of them. I don't have either of them, apart from an 8 inch blue, which I'll cut to right now. But yeah. Here we are. Chuck and Blue. Put Chuck over there since we already talked about him. And here's Blue. There's... There's really not much to talk about with these. Next, we'll bring out Bomb. Yep. This one is a pretty nice combination of colours, because you've got the black here and you've got the red up here. Black and red always kind of works. And this is the, this is the, uh, the updated tag. And you might notice here that they had a barcode on a tush tag. And that was for all the, the 2013 released ones. Because these were in Kmarts. These, yeah, they were sold in Kmarts. And let's go on to Matilda now. Which Matilda, she actually has her hang tag, which, so we can take a look at that now. And we can see it's just the app icon for which which season was it? Was it oh, Wreck the Halls? Was it Wreck the Halls? Was I no Seasons Greetings? This is the app icon for Seasons Greetings. There's the back of a tag right there. Oh. And there was no specialised touch tags for this wave. I'm pretty sure I showed, but yep. It was just standard 2011 Gen 2 Angry Birds tags for the Tush. Or the Gen 4 ones for the Kmart re-releases. And our final one here is the Pig. Who, he is a pretty nice one as well. Mine is a little dirty, but I got him for real cheap, so I can't really complain. See the tag there. And I think that's really over all, all there is to talk about with the plushies. Now, some others... But Commonwealth did do some other stuff with like Angry Birds plush and Santa hats. They did also make us two sets of of Christmas ornaments, but they're just like three inch plushies, but with Santa hats on them, either small or big, depending on which generation you got them in. Yeah, there's not really much more to say about these. I just wanted to get a quick review for Christmas. And I haven't done this set yet. And I'll probably not get to do it until next year. And if I've completed uh, 
the winter attire set by then, which I probably won't because all I have right now is earmuff pig and nose plushies are expensive. Yeah, I, I'll probably not have them by next year, but I will have a review of the Easter eggs ones coming up for Easter and maybe, maybe Hogs and Kisses review for, for Valentine's Day. I'm not sure, I'm still missing Cupid Pig, and he's the hardest one to track down of the set. But yeah, that's really all there is to say about this. Uh, Merry Christmas and bye bye